cameras down, you're not allowed to take any pictures in the post office. I'm not taking pictures. Cameras Talk to you when I get up to the front. Or leave. Around so go back to work hey guys, we don't want to be on there. Yeah, yeah, the the cameras. Cameras. You, do you see what you just created? No, you didn't create anything. You guys created it. So I bring so the cameras. Nope. With those cameras. I need to buy a stamp. I'm not leaving. Hey, Liam, call the cops. Thing is, no, it's not the thing is. No, you guys have violated my rights at this point. I want my trespass order. From News for You, Silverthorne pays $9,500 settlement to First Amendment auditor following incident at post office. This article was written August 29th, 2020, by Sawyer Dear Gorney. Silverthorne, Colorado, the town of Silverthorne agreed to pay a settlement of $9,500 after police asked a man filming inside the Silverthorne post office to leave. On February 24th, a YouTube man called Amagansett Press posted a 51-minute edited video of a man and his son entering the post office on a First Amendment audit to see if these folks honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in a publicly accessible area and in public. End quote. In the video, a man named uh, Amagansett Press walked inside and began filming P.O. boxes and bulletin boards before making his way into the main office. A post office employee and several customers asked the man to stop filming and leave. When he refused, officers with the Silverthorne Police Department arrived to handle the situation, leading to a lengthy and somewhat contentious conversation. Amagansett pointed to the post office's poster 7 which outlines rules governing contact on postal service property. In regards to photography, the poster reads, Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, cor corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except where prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule. Other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. When asked directly about the incident, a representative with the U.S. Postal Service referred back to Poster 7. Amagansett said the video was for news purposes. His YouTube channel, which boasts almost 200,000 subscribers, posted its first video back in December of 2018. The channel has since posted about 240 videos, many showing interactions with law enforcement and other public officials. In the video, Amagansett and the police talked inside for several minutes, going back and forth about whether he was allowed to film, and if police had the right to make him leave. They eventually moved outside, where the conversation continued for a while before officers left the scene. Silverthorne Police Chief John Miner, or maybe John Mayer, but I think it's John Miner, said officers asked him to leave at the request of, post, of the postmaster, who officers were in contact with via telephone on the scene. At the request of the Postal Service employees, and based on the best information available to them at the time, the Silverthorne police officers asked the videographer to leave the premises, said Silverthorne Police Chief John Mayer in a statement. Attempts to interview Amagansett Press for this story were unsuccessful. At the end of the video, Amagansett Press states his intention to take legal action against the police department. And John Mayer broke out in song. No, I'm sorry. And Miner said lawyers from both sides met soon after to work out the $9,500 settlement. The town said in a statement that the agreement wasn't an admission of liability or wrongdoing, and the police department stood by its staff and officers. Miner called it an economic settlement. It's, it's economically feasible to get, just give away $9,500. Um... Noting that fighting a lawsuit in federal court would likely be much more never costly. Look me in the eye. With your sunglasses on, off, whatever you want. I have never been arrested. I have never been charged with a crime. Okay. And you're not going to start today. Okay. Comprende? Yeah. So stop making things up. All right, sir. Have a nice day. Well, I'm having a great day. Okay. All right. You have a nice day. Thank you.